And we are back. Welcome back once again to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. Oh, today, today, Kryptonauts, I've gotten my first card in in a while. I ordered this uh, new egg uh, from a um, in stock alert I had generated. It was a 6600. I think I got it for, I oh God, I wish I remember, low six, very low 600s, probably way more than I should spend. Uh, but I wanted to get more 6600s in to fill out this rack. I need to get uh, three more, I think. Yeah, so I have one, two, three in this rack. And we get, four. well, let's see. Yeah, maybe three more, finish off the rack. So I'm going to open this up, put it on the rack. I want to get a dedicated 6600 rack. Then I'll have a 3080 Ti rack. I kind of like that because uh, as you add more and more to your rigs it, it does get a little cumbersome because i do split miners on one of them where i'm running t-rex on an nvidia to use the uh, lock core clock feature of t-rex to get lower wattage use more efficient use of the nvidia card but also run nb miner on the amd 6600 cards on that rig so let's open this up we'll see what it looks like and i'll have to do a re uh, count of how many i want to get yet um yeah i got a sell some stuff first and recoup some cash before I buy any more of these things. All right, stand by. So yeah, on this uh, DIY wood frame rig, I already have two 6600s and that's a 3060 Ti. I'm gonna pull that off. I'll put this new Sapphire 6600 in there. That'll be three. I do have a Red Devil up here. That'll be four. And then I'll put that, that'll be inside the grow tent for heat purposes. So two more. I want to get two more 6600s, and uh, I want to see what this new one will do if it put me over the one, the one giga hash. We'll see. All right. And I always check when I get these things, especially from Newegg. Heard some bad stories now and then about most stores, but Newegg especially, you don't get new stuff; you get refurbished. So that was sealed, and just double checking, there was a seal on that. I try to preserve the boxes, as you can see over here. There's all the boxes of everything. I had to put some boxes in boxes to get them out of the way because it was just getting a little too busy. How do people do this, man? This is... There's the box, Sapphire OC, overclock, 1080, FHD, eight gigabytes, PCIe 4.0 support, nice. Uh, HDMI. AMD RDNA 2 architecture, Pulse, Sapphire Pulse, baby. My first Sapphire Pulse. Package is not bad. I think these Hotex, I can't remember. One of the ones I got, they just come and they're barely wrapped. The manufacturer, it's just amazing. But I like when people take, give you a good presentation on what you're purchasing. And uh, my problem is now, how do you open a box? kind of box that we got here? Oh, I see. All right. Okay, this box is tricky. I need to write mega sweet. It just it just flipped up. <laughs> Some of the easiest things are hard, right? Oh, look at that. I give you a little book. There's a little book. You'll read that later, right? Sapphire technology. What they give me here? Yeah, like everybody else, I do save the boxes because you may resell these eventually locally and most likely on eBay, which, again, you heard my stories about eBay. They just charge way too much in fees, 14% some spots. So it depends what you're selling. Auctions are ridiculous. Uh, you have to jack the price up just to even get any money out of it because that's their business of taking your money too. I mean, they're giving you a service, but the fees are a bit high. Um, so that's why I save the boxes. So let's open this up. This thing's light. I mean, I'm used to those 3080 Ti's that weigh a ton. All right. I guess I can do this. What do they say with newborns? Don't drop the baby. All right. Don't drop the GPU. All right. There we go. Don't drop the GPU at all costs. Let me get some light on this. Pulse. It's got the plastic on it, which is good sign. Uh, I hate taking that off. I'm so sick of taking those home. Oh, they got the little protector covers on the uh, 
display ports. Uh, some some manufacturers, the ROG guys, the Strix, they cover up the uh, PCIe slots right there with a nice little cover, protect them. Uh, so yeah, this is not too bad. Not too bad. Little, maybe better quality than the Zotax. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do, let's see how many, all right, only one plug in. Thank God, right there, one plug in so that I can use my splitter on my uh, PCI riser. I need some GPU risers. I got to get out, I got to order some more GPU risers. I've been using these cheaper ones from Amazon, and I want to get back into using the um, the GPU riser brand. This stuff, are, they're, they're stuff high quality. If you haven't used them, go check them out. GPU risers, I think it's .com. Uh, they have great stuff. It's funny when you have quality stuff and you go to something cheaper, just because that's all you can get, you really notice the quality difference. And uh, yeah, I should have just not bought that batch from Amazon, but I'm using them. I'm, I I expect them to fail, but you know when they do, I'll I'll stock up on some GPU risers. All right, enough about that. No affiliation. I just like what I, I just like their product. All right, there's the card, 6600 Sapphire HDMI, nice little purple color overclock. All right, I'm going to strip off this plastic, and I'm not going to bore you with me hooking it up. I think we're going to get it hooked up. i got to power it on the rig, and hopefully it recognizes the card, and then um, let it rip. That makes our MSI Afterburner seize it, and then run MB Miner on it, and we'll go from there. All right. Let's do it. All right, I have the new Radeon Sapphire hooked up. I stuck it on the end there, got my, my uh, parallel miner splitter, there's uh, some of the more expensive white ones which are heavy duty, I would love to get some more of these, I went and I just put it in the, uh, there's one, two, three, four, there's five PCIe slots here, and I just went and put it in the end one, just so I have this one open, it shouldn't matter, but we'll find out, right, it's always the, uh, it's always the guess game when you plug these things in if it's going to recognize it right away when you boot up. So I got that in. I got them all coming out of this beefy EVGA 1000. And these don't draw much. The 3060 draws a little bit. So I'll double check my wattage to make sure I'm not going, to, going over the 80% on this 1000. I should be good to go. And that's all I got. I got these four cards. Three 6600s and a 3060. Yeah, I think that's a 3060 Ti. Oh, let's see. That's all. Let's go. Let's fire this thing up. Like I said, these are the beefy parallel miner uh, splitter coming off the, the really beefy EVGA VGA um, power cable going into this. And I can see why these are these casings are wonderful because if you are moving stuff around, they would they could possibly fray. But that's why these are really nice. But you pay a little more, right? But hey, nice stuff. Good stuff costs money. So we're all set up here. This is the uh, Amazon risers I have, which are not the GPU risers. Uh, here are the GPU risers right here. Let me get my light on it. Definitely a nicer riser. You can see it's printed on the board, www.gpuriser.com. And these three are the Amazon ones. Not as nice. Uh, these are definitely way to go. And I like that they got the power right up on top too, on the side, on the bottom, and on the top you can plug in the power to the riser, which is very nice, just for um, cable management and stuff. All right, let's go. I'm gonna fire this up and see what we got. First, we're gonna check the wattage and <laughs> make sure I'm good to go on this guy. I should be all right. All right, guys, I'm back. I have the new Sapphire 6600 XT installed. I stuck it in the uh, slot there, the fourth PCIe slot right there. It wasn't recognizing it, and I was going, what? What is going on? I did everything right before when I tried to get three to recognize on this Asus motherboard. I said, come on. This is ridiculous. I'm getting sick of this. 
So I'm just thinking, and then what I noticed over here is on this the Windows 10 device manager. The third one down, it's, it, it, it's correct now. Before it says um, Microsoft Display Adapter. And I'm going, and, I, and then I unplugged that PCIe slot from the board, and it went away. I'm thinking, wait, what's going on here? So it was trying to recognize the new GPU in that slot. It couldn't recognize it. Um, it recognized it as a Microsoft Display Adapter. What is this crap? I didn't know what this meant. And I just thought, let me just update the driver. I have never updated an AMD drivers before. So I went to AMD. Here, I'll show you. <clears throat> went to amd.com and I put in my uh, AMD series 6600 cards I did auto detect and install downloaded it and then you can say if you know it's um it's uh it detects the models of the AMD graphic cards and the version of the Microsoft Windows installed in your system and then it provides the option to download and install the latest official AMD driver package that is compatible with your system download and run directly into your system uh, uh, on the system you want to update. All right, I did that, and my God, magically, magically it worked. So there we go. I got my three 6600 XTs. The third one is the Sapphire, and there's my lonely, lonely NVIDIA 3060 Ti running there all by himself. Um, I have one more slot. So what I can conceivably do is I got, I got four puppies on there now. I could put a fifth one, and then that, that's going to fill my slots up. Which sucks, right? So I need to get one of those uh, one in the four PCIe splitters because I want to maybe just run, I want to get six 6600s. Right now I got one, two, three, four. I need to get two more. I'm up to date. Driver and software. There you go. I can do, I'll just do this for grins. There we go. Let's hopefully, we got. Can you see that? This is MSI Afternoon. I got three yummy 6600 XTs sitting there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my presets on them. So let's do the first one. It should do all of them. All 6600, all like ones. That's my overclocks. There may be better ones, but that's what's been working sweet for me. Let's hit that. Edit. I'm going to run this device's info to make sure all the positions on the cards have stayed the same and it just added because otherwise this will get screwed up. I'll copy this and I'll show you why. Yeah, see I do devices. I specify specifically devices one, two, so I need to find out what device this new card, what device position this new 6600 XT is at. All right. I go into here, I type command, puts me in a directory, uh, we'll paste that, devices info, please work, okay, all right, here we go, so device zero is 3060 Ti, I'm leaving him alone, I want devices one, two, and three to run NB minor, okay, that's what I wanted, one, two, three, let's kill this. Go back to my editor. So I have one and two devices. And I'm going to say device number three. If I didn't put anything there, it wouldn't kick it off because I specified devices. There you go, Kablamo. All right, run as admin. Let's see what happens. Exciting stuff, isn't it? All right, there we go. All right, it showed the three cards. There we go. One, two, three. 6600s. It's the red is the 3060 Ti. It ignores it because T-Rex is going to run that guy. So in this rig, I'm running two miners because T-Rex doesn't recognize uh, AMD cards, but I wanted to use the T-Rex absolute clock, core clock feature. So I had to run T-Rex with the 3060 and NB miner with the AMD uh, 6600 XTs. All right, that's odd hash rate. <laughs> that's, really F that's really messed up. 101. All right. Let's let it rip for a while. I did cycle through the power a few times on these guys. Uh, let's let it roll. It just starts up. It's kind of bouncing back. You know, it's going to kind of calm down, find its sweet spot. What's my power? So 160, let's say 70, 70 times 3. Okay. 
not too bad. 240 plus. Okay, I'm way I'm way within. A, I have a thousand watt EVGA gold power supply. I was concerned I was gonna get too close to the 80 percent rule, but we got yeah. Let's just say 70 times three. All right. 21. Yeah, we're good. All right, hash rates dialed in a bit to 32. I always round up. Makes me feel better. 32. So 203 watts. Okay, we're up. We got the three 6600s running in the $14 wood rig. <laughs> Power. The middle one's getting a little juicy there. 72. Uh, 64 power. I like it. They don't burn as much as the NVIDIA. And they get 32 each. I like that a lot. So I just added 32 mega hash to my, my uh, crypto mine, my rigs. All right, we're going to let that go. Everything looks happy. Let's bring up the T-Rex guy. Let's get the 3060 running and uh, call this one a day. Uh, what am I doing? So this is, I'll show you what this looks like. Oh, where are we going? I'm running Ether Mine here, ETH Hash, T-Rex Miner. There's my settings, the memory clock 1500. And here's that T-Rex lock, core clock setting at 1400. I thought it was a sweet spot. Yeah, I do this all manual because I like to know what's going on behind the scenes. I can see I'm getting to a point where I run Hive OS eventually, but I don't like paying fees right now, and I like having total control, and I don't mind doing this stuff because you know what's going on, and you put your hands in it, you get your hands in the code, in the terminals. You're dealing with Windows, which it's good or bad. I mean, it works, right? It's we got 32 holding, powers holding, 204. That middle one's drawn a little more. I wonder which, that one might be the Red Devil. That could be the Red Devil, because it's, look at the Red Devil right there. The Red Devil needs more power. Arr. All right, enough of that crap. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, we got a new, oh, they want to download the new version of T-Rex. I do like that they tell you to go ahead and do that. And you know what, while I am here, oh, do I want to do it? It, network connectivity, web UE improvements. New version of T-Rex is available. Download. I'm going to hold off. If it ain't broke right now for me and I'm happy with what I'm getting, uh, I haven't had any network connectivity issues. So I'm just going to let it go for now. Because if I jump on all these all the time and break something, I'm going to be spending more hours trying to backtrack what I did. All right, let's go. 32, we're holding on the same power. All right, there you go. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. New, we got a new 6600, new baby in the farm working. Little child labor, GPU card working away. Own Apple wages. The way Apple pays them. <laughs> pays our employees over in China. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. Oh, we got 45. Well, LHR 74. That, pull, that boy's pulling. So for comparison, look. This 3060 Ti LHR is pulling 128 watts, right? 128. And it's giving me 46. Let's say mega hash. Say 46. This is giving me 32. And it's under half of the watts. So I don't know. which I don't know which cards are more efficient. I mean... You gotta do the ratio of watts to hash and all that crap. All right, there we go. That's my video on my newest 6600 XT card. First time I had to update the AMD drivers, it was a win, success. Thank God I'm up and running. Uh, otherwise, I'd be up all, all day tomorrow trying to figure out what's wrong with this motherboard. And it's not the motherboard, it's the Windows drivers. All right, good to go. I'm gonna call this a wrap. All right, guys. Kryptonauts, go out and do great things. And let me know what you do. <laughs> If you have any tips on anything, please post them below. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll talk to you later.